Welcome to another edition of emac 2411 on YouTube.com. Make sure to like this video, please, and subscribe. Um, with major WWE backstage news on WrestleMania 32, you know, Undertaker, Sting, Hulk Hogan, Rock, Triple H, and John Cena, and all that stuff, all the matches, the match card, and what they want to do with Vince McMahon and the attendance, and all that stuff. So let's get into it. Let's not waste any time. According to DWN and their premium newsletter section, Daily Wrestling News, Vince McMahon reportedly held a meeting recently and stressed the importance of WrestleMania 32 from AT&T Stadium next year, where WWE is hoping to break attendance records, which will be tough. WrestleMania has already been a topic within the WWE, and here are some notes that we're hearing. First, firstly, that's not even the word, first, Vince still wants to do Sting vs. The Undertaker next year, and one idea brought up had Taker going into the WWE Hall of Fame the night before. Vince likes to have the WrestleMania main events figured out by SummerSlam, but he's been more frantic this year because of how hard it will be to sell out the venue. It's said that Vince seems to envision a fantasy card for next year's show. Vince has stressed to be careful with top superstars as they don't, so they don't get lost in the shuffle going into WrestleMania and wants them to be showcased well. At the same, at the same time, Vince has put out a sense of urgency when it comes to making everything happen. Uh, another note is that The Rock vs. Triple H was pencil in at one point, but Vince is still wanting to do The Rock versus Brock Lesnar. John Cena vs. Hall Hogan is said to actually be a possibility for next year. Apparently, Cena isn't opposed to working the match either. Okay, now we already know, um, you know, WrestleMania 32, 2016, live on the WWE Network. Obviously, it's going to be four hours again, which is probably a two-hour pre-show with, you know, The Rock Smackdown to build up and all. She'll be a good match card, I think. It could be one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time. That's what they're building as the greatest. Um, it's going to be IUTNC Stadium, you know. Cowboy Stadium, Dallas. Obviously, um, yeah, they're trying to break the tennis record, as, as said. Um, that's why they're trying to give the best matches, the best show, the best match card as they could. They actually are going to try for this. They're going to give you a good build-up when I'm hearing storylines. They're actually going to give good rods when I'm hearing. It's still a long way to go, but... As we're going right now, not looking so good, but WrestleMania, a lot of people tune in for WrestleMania season. Um, so basically, a hundred thousand or hundred plus thousand, hundred five thousand, something like that, they're gonna try to get a lot of views, obviously viewership, a lot of people, millions of people are gonna be watching this. So that's what they're trying to get, like, as I've been covering it all, basically. So that's why I've heard me in the past saying basically that they're trying to get old timers on. Um, get them to fight and wrestle for the card. That's why Sting vs. The Undertaker, the dream match that everyone's, everybody's been wanting to see for years, but people think it should happen a long time ago, so, you know, people might be less interested, but they are both older. That's why, would you really want to see it? What if it was a horrific match? That's why. What do you think about it? But Undertaker going in the Hall of Fame, why not put Sting and The Undertaker both in the Hall of Fame, but that would be two big names in the same, you know, show, which will probably get live in the WWE America as well. But, like they always have done for two years, but Undertaker should go in the Hall of Fame, obviously. That's a, no, that's obviously a major curve. Speak for herself. Multiple time world champion. Um, won the World Rumble, main event at WrestleMania. His streak, obviously, 22-1. Uh, um, he only lost to Brock Lesnar. Obviously, I don't think they should have broken, but that's what he did. Should be 23-0, in my opinion. But, that's what they did. Um, it was, you know... Obviously, it's sorry if people were sad or uh, shocked or disappointed, but it is what it is now. A lot of people still think it shouldn't be broken, but I, I would like to see Stinger versus Gary Stinger. But when you think about it, if this is a retirement match for both people, or for both superstars, you know, Sting's only one in the WWE, and there's rumors that I'm going to be making another video soon, probably tonight, about Sting's his return and his actual possible opponents. Obviously, Undertaker's number one, but they're talking about two other superstars as well. People think he's going to face a SummerSlam because he is only one. He lost Triple H for WrestleMania 31. Hell of a match. Five star match, but, you know, storyline, his appearances. But because when you think about it, these are both their retirement matches. They're not going to want to have Undertaker lose um, for a second time at WrestleMania. And they're obviously not going to want to have Sting go 0 2 at WrestleMania or 0 2 his WWE career. Um, that's the thing. So that's, kinda, that's hard booking right there. Hard creative decisions that they're going to have to do. Um, so that's why it's questionable. Or they can just face separate other people and we don't get the dream match in which they both win. And I wonder what the main event of wrestling is going to be because there's rumors of, uh, you know, Rock versus Rock. 
Stone Cold Steve Austin. There was at one point. Was having that, but then they sent off the window. I mean, Brock Lesnar, it seems like he'll be in the main event of WrestleMania. Either way. And there's rumors of it. Him having matches with The Undertaker again. John Cena, Triple I mean, people he's already faced off. And stuff. That's funny. So, I wonder what it's going to be, but Brock looks like he'll be in the main event. Either way, The Rock might make a return, or... I don't know, it's going to be interesting. For Vince Man, what he wants to do. Um, the Rock vs. Triple H, I, I would want to see that, but, you know, he's seen it a lot of times in the Edge era. You can see all their matches if you have the WWE Network. Um, you know, one last retirement match for both of them, but why would you want to have... I mean, because this is the thing, if this is a retirement match, Triple H is going to win. Obviously. I do want to see Rock vs. Brock in the rematch from Summer Sun 2002, where Brock Lesnar won his first W Championship, so... It's going to be interesting. Um... So we'll see. It looks like The Rock's going to be at WrestleMania, but against two, it's Triple H against two, Brock against two. John Cena versus Hulk Hogan. Now, John Cena, um, obviously, John Cena, um, you know, he's going to be around next year. You know, he's won a lot of world titles 15 times. United States champion right now. He's in the mid card. He's really not a main eventer anymore. He's not, I mean, I'm going to face Hulk Hogan now. Hulk Hogan, that's even if he can pass a physical. His hips, he's had freaking back, a lot of surgeries. Believe me, that's why I don't know if he can even pass. If he's even gonna be at WrestleMania, if he can even compete and perform a good match. John Cena would have to carry him, but I don't know. John Cena's gonna be there, but will, but will he be facing Hulk Hogan? And will Hulk Hogan actually be appearing or even, you know, wrestling in his retirement match for the last time? WrestleMania 32, though, otherwise, should be a big pay per view, big event, big show. Probably could be one of the greatest WrestleManias of all time. It'd be the greatest. With the biggest audience that they've ever had. Yeah, actually it would be. Uh, yeah, it would. If they do get break that ton of turn, they actually get, and they saw the crowd. It would actually be the biggest, I think, crowd they've ever performed of. in because of, um, WrestleMania 3, I think, was like 93,000. So, yeah, that was the biggest crowd ever. If they can do this, it'd be cool. That usually breaks a lot of ton of turn revenues. That's why this past year, WrestleMania 31, they got a both a ton of records for that stadium. Um, you know, 49ers. So, yeah. yeah. At Levi Stadium, so yeah. It's home of the 49ers football team for NFL. 76,000, something like that. So, WrestleMania 31, I thought that was the greatest WrestleMania of all time. That I've seen, probably. You know, a lot of people all said it, but we're going to cut this video on right now, guys. So, see you two, peace out. Um, you know, thanks for watching. Uh, leave a like. You know, like this video, please. Share this video. Leave a comment. Sound off in the comments below with your, with your thoughts and your opinions, and subscribe for more, such as wrestling, well, WWE news, rumors and headlines, gossip, speculation updates, reviews, previous predictions, game commentaries, PS4. This is where it's at, guys. I'll see you guys later.